What's up everybody, Tricks Ridiculous back with another video and I've got a sad one for you today. They have stealth nerfed Thor, the original Thor, Thor Odinson. He has received a stealth nerf from Crystal Dynamics. It is a very unfortunate one. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you here guys, now you know with the critical Thor with throw, when you throw a power attack and you time it properly, it's a guaranteed crit. Well guess what? These days, not a guaranteed crit. Unfortunately, post-patch Jane Foster, they have taken away the guaranteed crits from the critical throw. Now, you'll see I'm getting some crits, but they are not guaranteed crits like they used to be, including the lightning. Uh, so this was a stealth nerf to Thor. Uh, this was not in the patch notes. This was not in anything really unfortunate and I say this you know as a Thor main right Thor is my favorite character in this game but also just objectively I know some people are gonna say oh well you know it probably wasn't intentional anyway which I mean he can still do the three god blasts so they decide to nerf this first uh, or they might say, oh, you know, Thor is already too good. Um, he's still going to be good. And yes, he will still be good. He's still good without that. But the stealth nerfing is what kills me. And the fact that they're going to go after this uh, when there's all there's so many bugs in the game still. The game is just uh, uh, riddled with uh, nightmare scenarios. Uh, Jane Foster has all sorts of shit going on with her. She's There's glitches to get higher gear freaking her perks all have the wrong names because they have Thor's gear names on them that aren't even her names. There's a lot screwy and they decide to nerf Thor's ranged power attack. Now, honestly, it is what it is. They're not, you know, nothing I say in this video is going to get them back, but this is not how to buff melee. Like, you can't just nerf things. And I mean, we've gone down this path a thousand times. You, sh you should never try to nerf something unless it's actually broken and overpowered. Um, if it was unintentional, that's fine. You got to find a way to work it in and, and build some other things around it to be comparable. No one wants to be nerfed in a superhero game. And the cherry on top is the fact that it is a stealth nerf. This was not something they had said was coming. They didn't say there were going to be any balance patches or, or balance tweaks or adjustments. Um, they fixed the Bifrost, the infinite Bifrost, but that was like a very legitimate glitch, right? That was very clearly not intentional. You had to go back to the Quinjet and come back in. Like that was clearly something that was just a, a little wacky trick in the game. The guaranteed crits on the hammer throws is something that has been in the game since launch and it's something a lot of players have actually built their thors around so you know to just it's the same it's the same thing with like the tachyon surge nerf right um and you know to a lesser extent the damage buff nerf at least with the damage buff nerf uh we knew it was coming so that just goes to show you right there how if you know the nerf is coming or you know there's going to be some sort of adjustment it's not as you know, pull the rug out from under you when it actually does happen. But the fact that they don't say anything, they say nothing about balancing Thor or fixing his ranged hammer throw, a skill that pretty much everyone who plays Thor uses, unless you're doing some sort of melee Thor, uh, the, the power ranged attacks are pretty much how you're probably playing him. Well, guess what? Now it's nerfed. You're just not going to be doing those crits. You'll still be doing okay, but it's just it's just a deflating feeling to have the rug pulled out from under you and to just kind of have to in, in addition to kind of have to just figure it out for yourself right not in the patch notes not said at all ahead of time uh just happened the community just has to figure it out so i'm sure a lot of you are hearing it for the first time in this video uh just i mean what else can i say it's bad community management by crystal dynamics which is just more of the same. I understand that they don't actually have a community manager right now. Um, and the developers, you know, who are the ones interacting on Twitter and giving the feedback are certainly not the ones uh, that probably should be in those roles. But I digress. This was a bad move. And, you know, 
both from the fact that this was not something that should have been a priority and also the fact that they handled it about as poorly as possible. Uh, just overall, more of the same BS from Crystal Dynamics. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new for more Avengers content. That's all I've got for you, and I'll see you in the next one.